A lot of investors tend to only show their gains and rarely their losses. In the last two years, I've had one big loser, WBA Walgreens Boots Alliance. Having first bought the stock in July 2022, almost two years ago, at all-time lows, I invested hoping for a turnaround which never materialized. I have now sold the stock and lost almost $500 in the sale. In this video, I'm going to go through why I sold the stock and do a deep dive on its fundamentals. Firstly, why did I sell the stock, especially when it's down so much? So there's four main reasons or core reasons why I sold the stock. Number one is the failing fundamentals of the business, which we're going to get into after this. Number two is the recent dividend cut. So they weren't able to sustain their dividend. So they cut the dividend, which is never a good sign for a company, especially when the broader market is doing pretty well. If there's individual companies cutting dividends for whatever reason, it's never a good sign. The third is selling boots. So Walgreens Boots Alliance. So Walgreens is in the US, which is almost 80% of the business. And in the UK and Europe, they have uh, Boots, which is another chain of pharmacies, which is almost 20% of their business. And then finally, better opportunities. So as over the last two years, I was losing money in this, I could have been in, say, the likes of maybe Visa or Coca-Cola and making gains on them instead of being in this stock. So now we're going to go into the fundamentals of the company and see really why did I sell this company. So back over here to the price chart of WBA Walgreen Boots Alliance, we can see over the lifetime of the stock it's down almost 76%. So it's down now at about $16 a share. If we go back to from when I sold it, which is about a month ago, it's down 8%. So I, I think I am vindicated in the stock of the sale, right? I would have been down almost 10% more if I hadn't sold when I did. Now I lost about $500 roughly on when I sold it. However, over the last you know two, three years, I did make about fifty to sixty dollars in dividends over the each quarter. Um, so that brings the loss down to about four forty, right? Which still isn't great, but I just want to highlight that as soon as it was a dividend stock, I was making dividends on it. So if we come down here and we look at their fundamentals, uh, let's start off with a few ratios. So their market cap is almost fourteen billion and their revenue is almost one hundred and forty billion, right? So you know they're not a, a tiny company, they're not a massive company. But they do have quite a large revenue of 140 billion. Their dividend yield is attractive, but I would say it's almost a dividend trap at this stage of 6.21% because of the bad fundamentals of the company. At the moment, it's trading at a pretty good PE at 5.73. Still wouldn't buy it. Earnings per share at 2.81. So let's open up uh, extra ratios here and pop straight over to financial strength. So at the top here, we have free cash flow. So over trailing 12 months, we've almost minus 3.4 billion, which is a terrible sign, right? We pop down here to the current ratio. It's 0 0.66 or 0 0.63. Uh, the higher, the better when it comes to the current ratio. Uh, so this is also really not good. Quick ratio is the same, 0 0.32, not really good. There's no payout ratio data. I think this may be because they caught the dividend, so it's now reassessing that. Scroll down the bottom here, nothing more. So if we look at the margins, so their gross margin over the last 12 months is 18.56 and over the last five years is 21.29, which isn't terrible, right? That's not exactly a metric that we would say, oh, this is, you know, red flag straight away. But on the net profit margin over the last trailing 12 months, we have minus 9% almost and the growth over the last five years in the average is only about a percent, right? So that's a really bad sign. Their operating margin likewise is in decline and almost only a tiny increase over the last five years. So if we come over here then to growth, so the revenue uh, over the last three years growth is almost a percent and a revenue growth over the last five years is 4.47%. So, you know, the revenue is slightly growing but still not great. EPS earnings, massive declines here, massive red flag. There's no growth because it's a massive decline, right? Net profit margin, we don't have a figure here, which is interesting, I'm surprised, but that I imagine that's also in the negatives, right? Their dividend growth then over the last three years is 1.61%. However, as I was saying earlier, they cut their dividend, which is a terrible sign if a company where we have other companies in the same sector that are not cutting their dividends and are maintaining the dividends. What is going on at Walgreens Boots Alliance? Is it the fact that you know they had a kind of a high during the during the pandemic uh, because they had COVID shots and all that kind of stuff, and then they declined substantially because people weren't going as much? Is it increased competition? I think it's a, a mix of both, right? So they're obviously going to hit all time highs when it came to all the the vaccines and all the medications during uh, COVID. However. 
they haven't really been innovating, right? They've appointed one or two new CEOs in the same time, which are, which is also not a very good sign. On the last appointment uh, of the CEO, I was kind of thinking, okay, maybe we can finally turn around here. So I waited two quarters. Nothing was happening. So then I was going, okay, I think I need to get out of this stock. Now, we're also going to come to a point here in a minute uh, when I look at one big piece of news about the company for the future of the stock. In an effort for transparency as well, I just wanted to show that uh, I had sold out of it here. So it, it kind of went through two fills here. So I had about, if we add both of these up, I believe it's about uh, 500, 600. Yeah, 600, right? And I lost about 50% out of about 1,000 in there. So on the first one, you can see I lost 318 when I sold it. And then on the second one, uh, I lost almost 200. So it was about 500. Take away the dividends that I got from that, which is about $60 roughly over the last two or three years. Um, is about maybe 430 roughly right so I just want to be transparent about that so let's just finish up on looking at the final piece of news which is one of the other reasons why I sold the stock one big piece of news that came out about this company in the last month I believe this article for example was the 13th of May so almost a month ago now uh, so what they were pointing out here is one of their strategies for recovering the stock is to sell off the UK ba based uh, section of the stock which is the boots part of uh, Walgreens, right? So UK boots drugstores, right? So is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? I guess I feel like this is a bit of a desperate plea for them or a play, I suppose, to try and get the stock back up to the levels it was and to recover the business. We can see here that they're looking for people to buy the boot section they have they tried to sell this before and they couldn't which is a terrible sign the boot section is valued about 8.8 .8 billion right so if they sell this the company is going to be losing 8.8 .8 in valuation right whether that's good or bad long term you're going to have to see that right and also as i said in the first part of the video is so the u.s walgreens chain is 80 percent of the total sales whereas the boot section uh, is only 20%. So it is still one fifth of their business, right? And I will tell you, Boots is a very popular brand in the, in the UK and in Ireland and around Europe. I can't really speak so much to Walgreens in the US, but I believe it is as well, but it's definitely on a downward turn. They also have the chart here of like what's been happening and you can see it's just a, a really gradual going down over the years, right? So they did, they also mentioned here that after this was announced, which is like probably the second or third time they tried to sell this stock, is that the stock jumped 5.4%. But as when we were looking at our chart earlier, you can see that, you know, from a month ago, it's now down like 8% again. So this news really had very little effect and they can't really seem to find a buyer for the, for the boot section. Now, short term, I think if they sell, their stock may recover a, a small bit and over long term might be a good move, right? But I think the initial shock of saying, you know, that, However, they're going to do this if, if they sell the boots that maybe you get so many shares of boots if you have so many shares of Walgreens stock, right, is going to go to investors. Why am I invested in this stock? It's a dividend trap, essentially. I'm getting, you know, stock in a UK based company uh, where I don't have, you know, a lot of people don't want to invest in the UK or Europe. They want to only invest in the US. So they probably just sell off straight away. So that might go down as well. So it's a really strange move. And they seem to be struggling to trying to find a buyer for it as well. They just can't really seem to come up with good a good plan or a good idea, something fresh to kind of reinvigorate uh, Walgreens versus their competitors in the US. You know, it's a very competitive space in, in the pharmaceuticals. You have CVS as well and, and a lot of other chains in the US that they just can't seem to compete with and they're not innovating either. And therefore, their fundamentals are declining. So that's what I wanted to go through today. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.